in today's drive along we are seeing the big waves smashing over the wall on the west coast so welcome along to today's drive along so if you're new to the channel it's all about guernsey living in the channel islands and if you've been before and i know a lot of you have been before welcome back to the channel so off we go really windy day in this video you're seeing the rough weather you get it smashing over the wall at Kobo here and also head on to Varzon where it's probably worse and there's also cyclists cycling through the massive waves so that's worth seeing it's quite funny actually I mean it ended up all right but I thought it was going to be quite bad at one point so it's a Sunday morning what's it about half nine and you can see quite high tide so this is a typical place here you always get the sea smashing over the wall and if you haven't seen it you're going to see it now look at that can you see it in the distance coming over so you've got to get your windscreen wipers ready at the hand because when it hits the screen you cannot see anything you've got to hit the wipers quick so we're slow along here so if you're familiar with Guernsey you'll know this is Kobo area we've got the uh, rock mount pub on the left Kobo Bay on the left uh, sorry Kobo uh, hotel on the left Kobo Bay on the right should I say there we go look nice and slow speed bumps can you see it smashing over I mean it does get really bad long here this isn't the worst I've seen it it, it can get horrifically bad where the front of the rock mount pub we just passed on the left gets a bit flooded over we go and also I've done a lot of nice videos around here I'll leave a link on the screen for a video I did a few months back down the beach at Kobo Bay which is down to the right it was a beautiful day nothing like today so if you watch this video and watch the one I link on the screen you'll have a nice contrast to different weathers filter in turn here so that wasn't bad there uh, wait to see the Varzon one the Varzon's always a bit worse the Varzon's about a minute away so uh, how's everyone doing remember if you are interested and you're interested in seeing what it's like to live on the island of Guernsey and you want to see all the beaches and everything that goes on subscribe to the channel then you won't miss it all because I put everything on here that goes on in Guernsey beaches any events I try and get it all to show everyone what's going on speed limit back to 35 which is the maximum speed limit in Guernsey uh, so the coast roads are the biggest you'll probably find in Guernsey so this is pretty as big as they get I'd say can't miss that house on the left yellow now can you see like just look at op slightly you can see that building with the flat roof just going out on beneath the hedge now that's a really nice building not long been built lovely views over Kobo Bay so going round the corner nearly at Varzon Bay Varzon Bay is a big beach big big beach a lot of windsurfers go there although today I mean the windsurfers like the waves but this is ridiculous way way too rough for them so what I do is I drive to the end of uh, Varzon I turn around the car park and come back so you get you get the views both ways here we are so you can see the waves starting a little bit on the right but that's not too bad I'm just going to carry on past the uh, Vistas cafe Yeah, so really windy. We're having a bit of bad weather at the moment, probably like everyone else. Today it's rained all day here in Guernsey. Not mega cold though, about 12 degrees, but that wind really makes it feel colder. So we've got Krabby Jack's on the left, Vista's Cafe, restaurant, whatever they call it on the right. Nice in there. So this, by the way, this is where they do the sprint along this road. If you've been here and you've seen the sprint, they race cars and motorbikes along this strip of road and it's timed, whoever does the fastest gets a record. So you start around here on the sprint round here somewhere, you accelerate. But anyway, back to the weather. There we go, just a few waves coming over. So, really bad. Can you see there's a cyclist just gone past? And I'll, what, I'll drive through this lot and I'll turn around at the end and drive back again. Yeah, 
yes, I've got to put the old wipers on. Pretty, uh, wouldn't want to be cycling through it, I must be honest. Wouldn't want to be on a motorbike neither. The trouble is, with all this waves, is that what's coming over with it? Seaweed, not too bad. Stones, very bad, especially if they're your windscreen. Or worst case, you're on a bike and it hits you. Grandma on the left, that's about to be knocked down and rebuilt, as far as I know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, drive to the car, there's a little car park at the end here, and I'm going to show you the sea, so I'm going to turn the car, point the camera out to sea, just give you a bit of a view of the beach, of the bay, then I'll drive back, and then there's another cyclist, get more waves coming over, and uh, you'll see the sea in a second. So I don't, I'm not sure if it was high tide, it was pretty close. There's a really nice kiosk key on the right. Can you see on the right, kind of that orange roof, yellow building? Richmond kiosk. They're obviously closed, but um, they do really nice food. Always busy along here. Well, I'm just going to show you the sea. There you go. Towards the right of the screen where it hits the walls a lot rougher. So I'll just pull in here for a second and show you that. Alright, let's get out of here and let's head back on the road again. So I'm going back the way I come. Because I was going that way anyway, so I thought I'd film it again just in case anything happened. It's always a time when I'm not filming, something good happens. But um, yeah, can you see that cyclist in the distance? I mean, it's, it's crazy they decide to cycle along here. I wouldn't, I must admit. But I think he gets hit by a pretty big wave in a minute. So I'll stay behind him the whole way. You see in the distance, they're really coming over, the waves. So he's braving it. I mean, he had a crash helmet on and that, but still. He's probably trying to time it so he doesn't get hit. Which is very difficult to do. He's doing alright so far. I don't know how much that one hit him. I certainly got hit. So obviously the salt water's terrible for the car. For rusting it. But it rained all later so I'm hoping it washed it off. <laughs> anyway. Bit of fun on that drive along, just showing you what it's like along the west coast. So if you want to see more stuff on Guernsey, you can click the screen to watch another video. And if you're interested in seeing more, remember to subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you're going to watch another video, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, and I'll see you next time.